Hey Norwegian Cruise fans and welcome to my channel Cruise with Grant where we talk about all things Norwegian Cruise Lines. In today's video we're going to talk about the saddest day of your cruise, the day that you have to disembark. I'm going to run down the top five mistakes that you don't want to make and I'll share some helpful tips and tricks. And if you stick around to the end of this video I'll also share a bonus tip to help you save some money if you're making your way to the airport. So without further ado, let's get into it. Coming in at number five is check your onboard account. As you get towards the end of the cruise, if you've made any purchases or you've received some onboard credits, you're gonna wanna make sure that everything checks out before you get off the ship. I've found that sometimes there have been drinks that have been mistakenly charged to my account. And so if you wanna check your invoice, you're gonna head down to the guest services desk on the last day or two of the cruise, and you're gonna ask for a copy of your preliminary invoice. This will give you an opportunity to check to make sure that everything is correct before you get off the ship. You'll also receive a final invoice by email after you've disembarked. Coming in at number four is don't overlook the self walk-off option for your luggage. Now towards the end of the cruise in your stateroom, you're gonna receive some information about disembarkation. And this will provide details on a number of different colored groups where you can pick up luggage tags and put them on your bags and have the crew take your luggage off the ship for you. But if you're able to carry your luggage off yourself, you can often avoid some of the big crowds and lineups when people are all trying to disembark in one big group. And you also can spend a little bit more time on the ship. So if you're able to have your luggage with you, um, you have a little bit more time, for example, to enjoy your breakfast and then get off the ship. Coming in at number three is don't wait until disembarkation day to use your onboard internet account. If you're like me, just before you head home, you're looking to check in for your flight and maybe send some last minute messages to loved ones to let them know that you're on the way home. But what I found on my previous cruise was that on disembarkation day, my onboard internet minutes had already been disabled. So if you're looking to do any last minute things, make sure that you're doing it the night before the end of your cruise to make sure you can take advantage of your onboard internet minutes. In the number two spot is don't assume that the buffet is your only option for eating on disembarkation day. One of the questions I get asked the most is about where to eat on disembarkation day. And granted, there are a few fewer options on disembarkation day than normal, but one of the things that people often overlook is that if you're a little bit of an early riser, you can also have a nice sit down breakfast in the main dining rooms. So check the information that you'll get in your cabin towards the end of your cruise for the hours that the main dining room will be open. Then you can enjoy a leisurely breakfast with orange juice, and coffee uh, before the stress of any travel that day. Before we move on to the number one tip, if you're enjoying this video and you're looking for more great tips about cruising with Norwegian, please remember to give this video a like and also consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell so that you get notified when a new video is published. Coming in and the number one spot is not paying any more money than you have to to get from the port area to the airport. And there's a number of different ways that you can save yourself some cash. The first thing you can do is a little bit of research in advance to find out what the cost is to take a taxi or public transportation from the port area to the airport. Some jurisdictions like Miami actually have a set rate for taxi cabs. So regardless of the amount of time that the travel takes, you're gonna pay the same rate. If you're looking to further save some money, you can also join up with some friends that you've met on board uh, and share a taxi cab or other transportation. This can further reduce the cost per person. And this is something that I've done a number of times, both getting to the port area from the airport and making my way back. The last tip that I want to share is also shop around when you get to the port area. A number of the larger cruise terminals like Miami will have a number of different third party operators who are offering airport transfers and usually at a discounted price compared to what you would purchase on board from the cruise line. 
Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. So I will share a bonus tip on another way that you can save some money in getting to the airport if you have a little bit more time on disembarkation day. Now, something that people often don't think about is you can actually take shore excursions on disembarkation day. This is really common in some of the ports like Miami, where you can visit the Kennedy Space Center or take a Miami City tour. Oftentimes, these shore excursions are going to end up at the airport, and these can be combined if you've got the $50 shore excursion credit that many people are receiving through Free at Sea. So on my last cruise, I disembarked in Miami, and I took the Miami City tour, and I only ended up paying $10 for my airport transfer after the shore excursion credit was applied. So this can be a really great way to spend some time if you've got time to kill before your flight, and also to save money getting to the airport. If you're looking for other tips to help you on your next Norwegian cruise, don't forget to check out the other videos that I've made on top ways to save money on your next Norwegian cruise and top tips for your first day of your cruise so you don't miss out on dining and entertainment. If you found this video helpful, please remember to show me some love and give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help me and the YouTube algorithm out. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you're having a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!